Here, ready to sew. Uh, where you start is actually up to you because you were gonna sew around this whole thing at a quarter of an inch allowance. Um, I, I don't know why, but I prefer to start and stop like where one of these pieces started. Uh, if you moved your needle over, make sure you moved it back, move it back to the middle for the quarter inch seam allowance. This is a... So you are sewing some curves. But when you get to the corner here, you're going to pivot. And just a reminder, a pivot is when you are a quarter inch away from the edge, you're going to stop with your needle down. You're going to lift your presser foot up and um, turn the fabric. And actually, I'm not quite at a quarter inch, so I'm going to take one more stitch. And now when I turn it, I am at a quarter of an inch. So Make sure to put that presser foot back down. Yes, yes. <laughs> Otherwise, you get a gnarl of fabric. Yeah, all jammed up. It happens. If you do, just stop, rethread. So, stop with it down. Um, so if you're sewing with pins, you have a choice. You can leave your pin in or you can take it out right before. Uh, when I was taught to sew, I was taught to always remove the pins. However, um, if I found that you, as long as your pin is perpendicular to your sewing line, you have less of a chance of hitting it. The risk you run is you do have a chance that your needle can hit that pin straight on and it'll break your needle. So the safer course of action is to remove the pins, but... Okay, so when you get to the top and the bottom mask, you kind of have to curve it. It's not quite a pivot, but it's kind of like a... At the apex of the point, you kind of curve it back around. Other thing to be aware of is when you approach these, make sure they don't get flipped back like this. If they do, you want to lift up your presser foot and put it down. So you want that folded piece to be towards the center of the mask? Yes. Yeah, the way sides. you pinned it. Yes. Yeah. What you're trying not to do is you're trying to not have it be sewn down like that. And then, yeah, be all wonky. Yep. Yeah. Um, this guy, you're just trying to make it smooth near the edge. It'll get bunched up over here, but that's what creates shape around the nose. And right when I get up to that seam, I'm going to do a kind of pivot where I come back down. And then you meet your line of stitching, and you backstitch there, and you've sewn all around the edges of your mask. Uh, you are going to flip it inside out at this point, but I would like... I would like a clear picture of this before you do. Uh, the other thing that we need to do before we flip it inside out is we need to trim our corners the same way on the pillowcase. So you do a diagonal near the corner, but make sure you don't clip through your line of stitching. And if you do, go back and re-sew over that part. What's the reason for that again? Um, because when you flip this inside out, you're fitting a lot of material uh, into a yeah. small amount okay. of space. So clipping the corner allows, otherwise you have. And here's the magical part. Because we have openings in this mask, you can just turn it inside out through one of those. Right here is you're seeing the evidence of the reason you should clip your threads as you go, because they get caught in the seam mm -hmm. otherwise. So we're going to turn this inside out. Does that help to have a little pokey thing to do? It does. I was just thinking I should have brought a chopstick over here. Um, 
So yeah, you want to get back in and poke out the corners really well. And then this is going to be pressing. You're going to be pressing around the edge, but you want to make sure that you, this edge is good and um, turned out so that the seam is on the edge, but you're going to press around this whole mask. That This part might be easier if you have a traditional ironing board with the nose because it's easier to... And if they were doing an elastic headband for the... Hair tie. Hair, or hair tie for the... Um, the ties. For the ties, they would have needed to sew that on. Not yet. Um, that's oh, nice. not yet? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm just going around and making sure that my edge gets nice and pressed out. There is something you can do around this edge now. If you want to, you can go back and from this side while it's pressed out, you can top stitch around this thing. I will leave that on optional up to you. If you want to top stitch, take a picture of that. The thing I will show you how to do is we're gonna put a place for a nose wire. Why would you top stitch? Um, it just gives it a nicer finish and it makes sure that once this, so this edge is folded out right now, um, but when you wash it, it's gonna lose its pressing. And so top stitching, just make sure that it stays on the very edge. Your seam stays on the very edge. Different question. What is top stitching? Top stitching is stitching close to the edge. Um, you can either put it in your machine, uh, again, with your needle on center, but less than um, what you did before, or you can put it against the edge and move your needle closer to that right side but you just go around the whole mask. Okay. Um, I'll start and then I'll show you. Or actually, I'll just do it. have enough under my feed dog to get that side started. Ah, I'm gonna stop here. Maybe we'll just cut. You want me to stop the video? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 